Hello guys, welcome to a brand new series on my channel where I'm gonna show you the last 10 minutes of gameplay before I earn the Platinum Trophy while also giving my thoughts and opinions on the game and the trophy list itself and to start things off today I'm gonna talk about that new challenge wildlife for the PlayStation 3 yes as you can see this is a quiz game it's very easy to get a platinum but it's very time consuming and it's very boring there's not there's not like missable trophies except for one which I'm gonna talk later and the reason it's boring is because you have to win 50 games of of the quiz mode against another player where if you don't have another player to play with you you can play by yourself with another controller that's very easy the only problem is that you have to do that 50 times I remember when I first got the game back in 2012 I uh, played I guess 10 games and gave up put it on my shelf to never look back well until a few weeks ago then I decided to give another go and get a trophy the platinum trophy that is because I want I'm trying to clean my backlog of games you know going back in my in, in the beginning of my trophy list and see what games I can still get a trophy on the platinum trophy on and try to get them and this is one of the first ones this is a family kind of game you know the one where you can play in a family meeting or with your friends whatever and besides the quiz mode quiz aspect of the game there are two mini games inside of it one where you have to solve puzzles like jigsaw slide puzzles and one where you it's kind of kind of like a card game a stat attack where you, there's like each player has one card one player pick one one I don't know unit of the card and see if the other card is higher or lower that kind of thing and the game also has a quest mode which it's like a career or whatever and this is where the missable trophy is so if you're planning to get the platinum trophy on it you need to watch out the quest mode consists of I think 92 episodes each episode is containing 10 questions so the trophy asks you to answer all 10 questions of 50 episodes without retrying of course you can there is a guide on the internet with all the answers and you can use it and you always get the right answer there is no time limit no pressure whatsoever if you have any doubt you can just go to the to google wikipedia or whatever problem is that inside these 10 questions at least one of them is a random one where you have to to guess what picture you're looking at but it's like in a lot of it's like these square tiles that keep revealing itself at random at the end of this video I'm gonna sh you you're gonna see what I'm talking about and these ones is like there's no no answer in the guide you have to look at the picture and s select the right answer and sometimes it's pretty tricky I remember one about foxes and wolves that I, I don't know I, I think I spent 50 minutes alone on that episode so if you keep that in mind if you get the 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 50 50 episodes without retrying you're good to go wow. 
Now a little fun fact about the game, for me at least. It's my story on why I did choose to play the game in the first place. Now back in the day, like I said, 2012, 2012, I keep saying 2012. I uh, I didn't know the the existed PSN profiles. Actually, I don't know if PSN profile is that old. Whatever. But back then, I since I'm here, I live in Brazil. We trophy hunters used to use another site website to see to look up for guides, and it's. It was called my PST. In this website, they had like an info panel showing like all the games in their database that no one has got the platinum trophy. And one of these games is Netju Challenge. There was also a lot of Japanese novels and whatnot, but those kinds of games are kind of difficult for at least for me to get my hands on and one of the few few games that I actually managed to find was that you challenge and I thought to myself hey it could be nice to have a uh, a rare game to my collection and I say rare game because even now I was looking at PSN profiles and only 100 person 100 people sorry had got the platinum I don't know how many actually play the game, but I believe it's a very difficult trophy to find in people's trophy lists. So that was the main reason I started playing it. Little did I know it was gonna take that long. <laughs> I guess it's almost 8 years since my first trophy. But. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't think there's much more I can t talk about the game. It's very self-explanatory. Quiz game, look at doing, um, look on the internet to find the answer. Look on a guide, there is a... It's very hard to find a guide for this game, but there is one. Thanks very much for the people at playstationtrophies.org at the forum. It was very helpful there as well. And I'll leave you to the gameplay. If you ever try to get the Platinum Trophy on this game, I wish you good luck. If you have any questions about any trophy on the game, let me know. I'll do my best to to help you out, to give you tips and tricks. on, And overall tell you how I did it. Maybe you, maybe you can find it useful. So thanks for watching. Enjoy the rest of the gameplay. Bye bye. Ooh, uh, mm, wrong. Amazing! Fantastic! Correct. Congratulations, that's the end of the quiz, and what a score you have.